to another edition of Ed's Model Madness. Today I'm going to be talking to you about a 125th scale Revell 1969 Chevrolet Camaro build. I did this model, I don't know, back in 2015. It was a good build. It was fun. Not a whole lot of problems. The kit was originally molded in white plastic, so there's an extensive amount of painting that had to be done, but even though that sounds difficult, it's really not. Um, it's just part of the process. And I gotta say that it really turned out well. So, one of the cool things is the fact that it was featured as a banner model or banner photo on the Ravel Model Builders Worldwide website. Uh, actually, it's a Facebook page. But just to have that happen, I mean, I'm a novice model builder. Uh, for that to happen the first time, incredible. I was beyond just thrilled with the fact that, you know, somebody appreciated my work that much. So today I wanted to show you my 125th scale Revell 1969 Camaro. I actually built this kit in August of 2015, so it's about four years ago since I built this. Um, I do keep it in a covered container, uh, a display case, um, so it stays pretty clean, keeps the dust off of it. But uh, I have photos that I will be showing you of the actual build. Um, I know the backlighting isn't all that great right now, but it uh, still shines just like it did the day I got done with it. So I wanted to kind of cover a few of the things that I did on the kit. Um, hopefully we can get a good image here. So, the wheels and the tires. All right, uh, they're different. I got those at a model convention in Atlanta, Georgia, and was able to put them on this kit. I hand built the yellow traction bars in the back. Drilled out the exhaust so it gives it a little bit more realistic look I made the ignition wires for this car and very difficult to see uh, even trying to zoom in the camera just wants to get a little fuzzy on me here but uh, I have brake lines coming off of the master cylinder. I have battery cables. I actually built the bracket for the alternator so it's just not hanging out there in space. We got the heater hoses going back to the firewall. And if you'll notice, it has dual mirrors, which I hand built the passenger mirror to match the one on the driver's side of the car. I also added the blue stripe at the uh, top of the windshield, just like the old version of uh, General Motors cars. Now the interior, Not that you can really see all that much now that it's put together, but like I said, I do have pictures from the build.
said, um, if you like what you see, please hit the like button, uh, subscribe to my channel, follow me, and I'll be producing more videos periodically talking about the models that I have built, the models that I still have in my stash to build, among other things. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.